guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you this beautiful asymmetrical necklace that I made using the Bargain Bead Box for February of uh, 2023 called Violet Glade. So I started out with this beautiful pendant and then of course I did something a little different up here. And then I used those. Oh, they're flipping into that. I put the toggle clasp a little off center and then this is the back of the necklace. So I thought this turned out really pretty. So if you would like, I did use my own seed beads um, other and my uh, beading wire. Other than that, Everything else, um, except for the crimp beads, of course, and the wire guards, everything else was from the Bargain Bead Box. So, hope you can follow along with this, and um, stay tuned if you want to learn how to make this. Okay, so to start with this necklace, um, I kind of have it in place. I'm using this focal, this for the focal piece at the bottom, and then... I connected already to save time. I'm gonna show you how I did this, but I connected these four together because I'm gonna have it, it's gonna be kind of a asymmetrical, like it'll have this on one side and the other side will have just beads. So what I did was I took one of the eye pins. Now this has two different um, endings. This one is really thin and then this one is a little thicker. So what I did was I have, let me move this out of the way. So to start with this, I have it like this. So this one that already has the eye pen already made, I have it to go around that thin piece. So when I make my own eye pen, uh, my own other end, it will be a little bigger so it can go around there freely so it can move around. So I'm gonna start with, and I have, my bead caps too. Just trying to kind of keep it a little clear in here. So I have this, that, and then that. So I'm turning it so you see the way that is. I want this opening to go in the back so it will face this way. So I have it like this. I'm just putting my fingers right here. I'm taking my round nose pliers. Now, see, I have it kind of, make sure I didn't move it. Okay, so I have it facing the same way, and I'm bending it over. Give it like that. Now, I'm taking my flush cutters, and I am giving myself a little more room for a little bigger of a hoop, so it... Uh, I'll say about that. Let me go down a little more. And I always close my eyes when I do that. <laughs> so, yes. So then I take this and I'm going about halfway down, almost, about a third of the way down. And I'm making the circle so that it will fit on there. Let me see. Okay. So now we're gonna start, we're gonna attach this. Let me turn this this way. We're gonna attach it like that. So the smaller eye pin that was already made on that We'll go right there and turn it that way. And then this one with the hoop that I made, I'm gonna open it up. And you want it to be able to fit that in there. Oh. Sorry, I'm trying to hold that. And do that. Yeah. And so there you go. Okay. So that's how I did 
these five right here. So let me see here, where's my thing at? Let me get my, I have my crimp beads. I keep one inside of there. I don't want to open them all up right this second. And I forgot to get these out. have the, my wire protectors. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it, so I'm going to have the wire protector going down. So the beads are going to come down there. So it'll be even a little more asymmetrical. I'm not going to bring it all the way down to this pendant. So it's kind of going to connect this down to there. So this is the wire I'm using. The beetle on and what I do oh, I don't have my um, let me measure this out I always have a little extra I measured around my neck usually and I use a hush cutter so now my Hold on one second. Let me measure this out because my ruler is in the other room. So 12. 24. It's about 24 inches. I will not need all this, but I do like to have it for extra. So I'm going to put that up there. I'm going to put this Crimp it on the wire card, and I'm gonna put this and get it over here. Oh. going to have it going through there. I'm going to have a little extra because I have a little extra. So it'll be kind of like that. Oh, I forgot to put the my thing on. I hope if I did that. Okay. Let me Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna put it through there. I'm gonna turn it back so it's by the front. Pull out a couple extra wire guards just in case. So we'll have that right there. Here's my Gonna squeeze that just a teeny bit. Okay. So now you have this. Okay. Now put it in the first one all the way to the bottom. And you push it down so there's a um, wire on each side. I'll just show you after I do it. And you crimp that. You see how that's crimped? And there's a wire on each side of that. And then you turn it and you go to the other one. And I always pull to make sure that that works. So, there we have that. Okay, so then I'm going to take some of these beautiful little beads here. And I'm going to start feeding them on. I'm going to do one and then one turquoise. I'm just going to do random. They're not going to be the same. Turquoise. And let's see. Let's get them, get them over this two 
And it's great because the 11 O's fit over those two like that. Okay. So there we are. Like that. Then I want to do one, two, three, oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, bring that down. I kind of got to look at the bail here. It's going to need a few more. 10, I'd say, let's try 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So we're bringing that down like that. Now this is the front of the necklace. We're gonna put the bail on so it's in the, let me attach that so it's in the front like this. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Hold on one second, it was twisted. Let me redo this. Okay. We're gonna do it like this, so it goes through, like this. For some reason, it seems all of a sudden like my first place got dark here. Okay. So it's like, we have it like this. Now you see the way it goes like that. Now I'm going to take this other strand and I'm going to skip that one and see these three beads right here. Oh, sorry. So here's these three beads right here. After I put it through, I will show you. So I'm going to restring it through those three beads. Let me make sure it gets through. I ended up going through more than three. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to feed it up. How did that just twist like that? Oh, hold on a second. I put that underneath. I'm like, what just happened here? Okay. So, there's this. And then these beads. Let me get this set like this. And then they go up like that. Oh, wait, you know what? I need a few more. Hold on, I'm sorry. So there's 15, I need to do 20. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. This is kind of a, okay. So here we go. Okay, so now we're going to skip those two beads and we're going to go through these three beads right here. Okay, so I'm going to go through one, one, two, and three. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to hold on to this. Wait, let me bring this through here a little more first. And I'm gonna put 
bring it up like this. Okay, there we go. That's what I needed. I needed a few more beads. It wasn't laying right. So you see how I have that right there? Now you just have to make sure that as you're doing it, that these beads are tight through there so that when you're working with these, you can have that little, uh... there we go. Okay, so now I have all these other beads. So now I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna do five on this side so it's a little irregular. I can't, it's hard to keep this down while I'm doing it. Once it's done, you'll be able to see a little better. So then it'll be like that. And then I'm gonna do purple, two, three, four, five. Bring those down like that. I'm gonna make sure I'm totally in focus here. And then I'm gonna do five more of the blue ones. One, two, three, four, five, okay. So, this is totally different on both sides. So you see, it's pretty much even with this bead up there. So then you can start and just make sure like when before you go to close off the necklace that all of those are connected right there. Okay, so you see it like that. Now I'm going to do a bead cap. I'm going to do one of that and a blue. One of the jade beads. Blue. One of these again. And then a bead cap. So I'm going to do different random patterns on this side now. So, see how it's kind of like thinner there, thicker there, and then it just kind of strings off. So I'm gonna bring this down a little bit so you can kind of see more of the pattern I'm gonna do. So now I'm gonna go back and do this. I'm gonna do this and another bead cap. kind of like that and I'm gonna do bead cap again I'm gonna kind of do what I did on the other side that blue that blue and this, and another bead cap. Okay. So, see how that's kind of looking right there? That looks pretty. So yeah, and now I'm just going to kind of randomly um, bead the rest of these on. I don't really have a um, three, Four, five, do some random little bit of blue up there. That looks pretty. Then I will do a bead cap. Oh. Okay, so I do that. I do another bead cap. One of these. 
Like I always say, have fun with your creations. If you don't like the way it looks, you can undo it. I started this necklace and then halfway through the video, I didn't like the way it looked and I undid it and started this over again. Because I create a lot of things in my head. I'm not one to write them down on paper and draw them because it never, I don't think it ever looks the same, but that's just me. Um, but then when I, uh, when I go to do what I did in my, I have in my head, sometimes I'm like, no, this is so not working. <laughs> so there, so then I did that again, that random little pattern again. Now I'm just going to do some of these. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, and this one's side has got ten. Okay. I'm loving the way this is looking. So see, this has no blue on it. And then you get down here, and then there's blue in there. I'm going to put a few more of these little beads out. Pattern again, one, two, three, four, five. So we see how that looks there. We see how this is looking. gonna do another bead pattern like this. Put one of these on. We have that and do another one. scoot it over because I have all of these right here. <laughs> okay. There we go. So, this is what we have so far. This looks so pretty. So let me get some more of these down here. Gonna do another one of these patterns with the blue, purple, blue, purple, and the blue. And then we're gonna dump these little ones out here. Two. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Get this through. Okay. Let me, I'm just kind of holding this up. Okay. So, 
almost there. So I'm gonna do another, let me just do another one. Blue, purple, blue, purple, and blue. And get that down there. I'm gonna do this. And that. This. Hope everybody's having a good day and enjoying watching this video. You see, there's this, this, and this. Know what's happening right here is it's going to be coming over this way and then that's going to be where the toggle clasp is at so it's asking blah it's actually going to be a little off center i don't know if i explained that in the beginning but i know you saw the the video that's why i always show you a video i show my thumbnail so that you can uh see what i'm um get some more of these off This toggle clasp is really pretty. So I figured it might as well kind of show it in the video or in the, um, in the necklace. It's right here. So we're gonna do the blue, purple, blue, purple, and blue again. Okay, and we're gonna do um, more of these. One, two, three, four, Seven, I'm going to not do the same one next to each other, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so let me hold this up to my neck, make sure, oh this is perfect. Okay, so got this, and this comes over. I'm trying to make a little more room for it, like this. It'll be like if I can get the whole thing in the picture. So it'll be kind of like that. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, and then. You see, I'm going to do one, two, three, and then a few purple, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I did, so here I did three blues, a purple, and then three more blues. So, taking this. So now I'm going to, it's funny how this is on the ring. Get my other ones here. I'm gonna take this one off. And I'm gonna put this 
this one right here. Okay. So we have it like that. Let's see that. And then for this, I gotta get my other crimping. I keep them in here because they go flying off of my uh, my thing here. I put my crimp bead on and put my wire guard on. Let's put it back through. Oh. Okay, so I have this and this. Let me see, where's that little? So the toggle clasp needs to be like this. And I put some of those seed beads there so that it can go through. Then one second, let me. This wire just kind of. just kind of get through here and then I will I'll go through one of these two okay so and then I'm going to show you something too before I close this up I close this little piece right here squeeze that just a little bit now, you have to go up here in front and make sure that that's tight. You don't want it so tight that your necklace doesn't bend, you know. But you want this piece. So you've got that, so now we have these two, the two wires. See them right there? And so that will have a little bit of movement there. So you take these, squeeze that, turn, and you squeeze it that way. And then I always pull, I always make sure. And then I go in and I cut that. Make sure that's down like that. And move these out of the way. And then this is your finished necklace. And I just thought it would be really pretty to have the toggle clasp here on the side. Now see, the reason why I put these seed beads here is because you want to have a thin string so that this can go through to fit in there, if that makes sense. Sometimes if you put big beads right there at the, at the, um, right at the tip of it, it won't stay. So this is my finished piece. I hope you like it. I think it's really pretty. It's just, it's kind of different. You know, I wanted something with a little more asymmetricalness to it so um so I hope you enjoyed this video and this is the first of probably a couple different um beading tutorials so I hope you enjoyed it and let me know down in the comments if you're going to try making this or not sorry if I got a little confusing but sometimes when I'm taking something from my brain and trying to put it into a piece of jewelry it's like I know what I'm doing but I'm having trouble explaining it sometimes it's just <laughs> I hope I'm getting better with that but um but yeah so this is it and I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video and um you can also check out my Etsy store where I sell most of my jewelry and maybe look at some of the pieces to give you inspiration for you to create something on your own and um, I will see you on my next video and you have a great day. Thanks for watching.